Hey guys, this is Steel Kid Gaming here, back with another scripting tutorial. And today I'm going to be teaching you about making a on and off flashlight. Now you've probably seen these in maybe horror games or exploration games where you always have this flashlight where you can, you know, when you click it turns on or off. And in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to do that. Now of course, um, some of these things inside um, are from like models or plugins, so I will link them down in the description below. <laughs> and yeah, so before we start, of course, I just want to say thank you all for a hundred subs, greatly appreciate it, and I hope I can create um, create good content for you guys. <laughs> so yeah, without further ado, further ado, let's get started. <laughs> so yeah, um, the first thing I made is just v this very crappy flashlight of course i recommend you to make something better than whatever this is more, looks like a match stick or something <laughs> but yeah um just have some sort of flashlight model ready um in this video so if you want to you can just pause right now and create your own <laughs> but yeah um if you do have some sort of flashlight model ready then yeah let, we can get started now um in this flashlight model you're going to be needing a handle so, uh, something that can either make, uh, something that can, uh, make a player pick it up or hold it. So, it will have to be named Handle just like this, um, capital H and then Andle, you know. <laughs> and, of course, we will also need, um, some sort of a light part. Now, of course, this is just going to be so that we, c uh, we know which, where it's, uh, facing and we can put the light correctly. Now, of course, um, other than that, you are going to either weld it yourself or use a Q Perfection Weld. I believe I, I believe Future Steel Kid Gaming will link that in the description. <laughs> but yeah, this basically does all the welding for you, or you could just do it yourself if you have low parts. Save yourself some of the pain. <laughs> but yeah, either way, um, just weld everything together. If you want to weld on your own, then just go to Create here in the Model tab and go to Weld. Of course, you can click two pieces, they'll work together. <laughs> now, after that, um, inside light, we're going to have to add not a point light, but a spotlight. Now, I'm not going to assume it will be in the first part, so I'll just do that. Now, as you can see, um, although the light is, you know, you can visibly see the light, you can see that it's actually on the this sort of left side. And that's because the face is front. Now, if you go, if you see up here, we want the light to face this way, or in other words, the right. So in that case, I am going to say right, just like that. And you can see the light is facing right. Now, of course, after this, you can kind of customize whatever you want. This won't, uh, this, uh, nothing will be affected when you actually play the game. So yeah, what kind of shadows, all that good stuff. Now, once you have your desired flashlight, you know, everything's done. You got your model, you got the light, everything. Now it's actually time to script. Now, inside here, I'm just going to put a script, and yeah, I'm going to start. Now, of course, I'm going to uh, type some stuff down first, and of course, after that, I will explain. Connect function, there we go. Now, what I just did right here is I referenced the tools, so of course, script.parent.parent, and then, of course, I did activated, which basically means when the tool is equipped and someone clicks it, then, of course, this happens, or function, this sort of function happens. Now inside here, I'm going to make an if statement, where if script.parent.pointlight, or sorry, spotlight, of course, if you named your light something else, then you will have to uh, write, instead of spotlight, that name. Then, dot spotlight dot enabled equals false, then, you know, script.parent.spotlight dot enabled equals true. Now, what this is saying is, it's saying, well, let's say the spotlight was off, all right? So, enabled is off, all right? Then, just turn it on. So, like, when uh, the, sorry, when the player clicks, if the flashlight is off, then, well, turn it on. But then, of course, you might be wondering, well, what if it's on already and you want to turn it back off? Well, instead of doing, you know... If script apparent dot spotlight dot enabled, uh, sorry, else if script apparent dot spotlight dot enabled equals true, then you know whatever false. You can actually just do else script dot parent dot spotlight dot oh, enabled equals false. Now the reason why for that is because there are only two um 
because this is a bool value, right? There are only two um, two different modes for this. Enabled is on or enabled is off. Or in other words, light is on or light is off. So it's basically saying, if the light is off, then turn it on. But we only know that there's only one more option for it to be on. So if it's not off, or in other words, if it's on, that's why this else is here, then turn it off. So that's just a quick explanation for that. Now, of course, once you're done all of that, before you, um, sorry, before you actually play the game, you you need to do one more thing. Now, I'm going to be using Clone Trooper 1019's uh, Tool Grip Editor. Of course, I believe you can use multiple other ones, but I, I personally find this one the best. Now, of course, I just turn it on. I select a tool, make sure to be in, in Workspace, and Edit Tool Grip. There we go. Now, the reason why I need this is because, as you can see right here, this is pretty much the player's hand, okay? And when you're playing the game, you don't want to have the players have a sideways flashlight. No, that's that's probably not going to get your game good reviews. So, of course, I... Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. I'm actually going to select the tool, and I'm going to turn it. Now, the reason for this is so that the flashlight actually faces the front, and not the back, or the left, or the right, or up or down or whatever. No, this is just so that um, the flashlight actually points outwards. Oh, sorry, front. So, of course, once you're done, you know, take everything out, deselect it, turn off the plugin as well. Oh, no, it was already off. And yeah. Now, of course, after that, all you gotta do is just put it inside starter pack. Or in other words, just put it in the uh, starter backpack. Of course, if you want it to be dropped, or um, given to you by some scripts, of course, you will have to make one for that. I won't be covering that today, I'm sorry. But of course, you're here for the flashlight, not for giving the person the flashlight. So yeah, once you're here, you have the tool, the flashlight, and of course, as you can see, you know, the flashlight is facing forward, and if you see, when I click here, boop, you can see it is turned off. And if I click it again, boop, it's on. <laughs> so yeah, of course, you can move around, so nothing really changes, you know, you can spam it if you want as well. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. So yeah, that's all for this video. Um, I hope this helped you in some way. Of course, once again, thank you for 100 subs. Greatly appreciated. Um, if you have any questions, just let me uh, let me know in the comments section below. And I will try to answer them as soon as I can. So yeah, other than that, um, that's all for this video. Enjoy, um, sorry, have fun scripting. And I will see you next time. Bye.